Hey, it's Meat Sandwich from the Boris and Robin Show, and it's time to take a look at the box office this weekend with Meat at the Movies. All right, so there's a bunch of movies opening up this weekend that I actually really want to see. So I'll start with the big one. That would be Ocean's 8, the new all-female sequel spinoff to the Ocean's franchise. This stars Sandra Bullock as Danny Ocean's sister, who is just released from prison and decides to pull off a heist of her own. She and her team are going to rob the Met Gala in New York City. I love the cast they've assembled for this. In addition to Bullock, you've got Kate Blanchett, Anne Hathaway, Helena Bonham Carter, Mindy Kaling, Rihanna, Sarah Paulson, and Aquafina. Uh, original Ocean's director Steven Soderbergh returns as producer, though it's directed this time around by Gary Ross, a Soderbergh protege who made movies like Pleasantville, Seabiscuit, and The Hunger Games. And word is that the movie is very fun, even if it never hits the heights that these Soderbergh movies hit. Uh, the cast here works so well together that any problems you may have get overshadowed, and you'll likely be down for a crossover Ocean's 21 or whatever comes next. Also out this weekend is a new action movie called Hotel Artemis, which looks like they just took the hotel from John Wick and made a whole movie out of it. It looks cool. It's written and directed by Drew Pierce, who co-wrote Iron Man 3 with Shane Black, and it also has a totally wild cast that includes Sterling K. Brown, Jodie Foster, Sophia Botella, Jenny Slate, Brian Tyree Henry, Zachary Quinto, Dave Bautista, Charlie Day, and Jeff Goldblum. Uh, the action looks great, the concept of a hitman hotel in the future looks wild, and people went totally nuts for this trailer when I saw it a few weeks back. But the movie I'm most excited about this weekend has got to be Hereditary, a new horror movie that has been making the rounds of festivals for about a year now, which means I've been hearing nothing but great things about it nonstop for about a year. Uh, it's got a few notable actors like Tony Collette, Anne Dowd, and Gabriel Byrne, and it's the feature debut of writer-director Ari Aster. The movie centers on a family who begin to discover these strange secrets surrounding their ancestry, and the more they discover, the more things start to get nuts. Uh, I've seen this compared to major horror movies like The Exorcist and Rosemary's Baby. Uh, one critic I follow said it's the kind of horror movie that makes you feel the need to go to church and get right with God the next day. So I'm sold, and it's definitely the one I'll be trying to see first this weekend. And even aside from all that, lots of limited release movies are expanding this weekend. The Mr. Rogers documentary Won't You Be My Neighbor is hitting some theaters, plus Paul Schrader's incredible sounding first reformed has come to the Poughkeepsie Galleria and the Downing Film Center and Upstate Films, and the South Hills Mall is getting The Rider, which I hear is amazing, and the new Ruth Bader Ginsburg documentary RBG, which is also supposed to be great. So just go see something. This is a rare weekend where there are a ton of of absolutely stellar options. I'm Meat Sandwich, and until next time, we'll meet at the movies.